What's going on guys, it's Greg Miskos Dyes here today with a cleat review. We're gonna be rolling out a bunch of these coming up because I know you guys like to see what the new footwear feels like. And today we've got the Hirachi cleats. We'll also take a quick look at the Hirachi turfs. These were sent to me by my good friends at lax.com. They have tons of cleats in stock. I know they've been kind of hard to find over the last two years. So hit the link in the description if you need some cleats for the spring or summer. Um, I've reviewed the last couple of Hirachi cleats so it's interesting to see what they change each time. So let's unbox them. Got the classic Nike orange box. Got the Hirachis in 10 and a half in black. They come in a few different colors, white with some accents. Um, I got the 10 and a half, that's my size, and they cost 120 bucks. So obviously the price of cleats has slowly risen, um, but that's pretty much what the freezes cost. That's what most cleats cost now. So got the Hirachis, these are the mids. They also have a low version in a couple colors if lows are your thing. I've usually worn mids, but I might try lows. And then we'll take a look at the turfs. This is the Hirachi 8 turf. Um, I've never worn their turf shoes, or at least not recently. The last ones I wore were the ones with the Thompson Brothers, but I always like um, the nice little pegs here. They make them much more cleat-like rather than just having, like they have the tread on the outside, but they have these pegs, um, which I love. Seem light, seem comfortable. Um, at some point, I have some other turfs from New Balance, so I'll do a comparison that includes these. Today, we're just gonna focus on the cleats. So let's take them out of here. Like I said, they've got a bunch of colors. They sent over the black version. Uh, Hirachi 8s, uh, mid, low, 120 bucks. And compared to the last ones, uh, the look is a little more simple. I think one of the things they focused on here was durability. So you can see all around the outside, they've got this molded rubber and very little mesh that is connecting directly to uh, the plate, and I think that's to keep it from ripping. A lot of times you see guys in cleats, um, because they go th through so much wear and tear, they end up with uh, blowouts, and so I think they really focus on durability with this cleat. Very durable materials attaching the plate to the upper, and then even going through the upper, some of this thinner like TPU material. It's gonna give you support, but also make sure you're not ripping through them too quickly and you're getting more time out of your cleats, which I really appreciate. I used to rip cleats all the time. Um, they've got back here, it says Nike React. I think that's the foam on the inside to keep it soft. Um, one thing they're really focused on was the plate down here, and they use a more flexible TPU so that it requires less break-in. When I went back and looked at the previous Hirachi comments, a lot of them were about durability, and a lot of the other ones were that they're really tough to break in. So I'm gonna wear them in a minute and see how they feel, but they use a softer material on the plate here so you get a little bit more flex right off the bat. Um, and they're not so stiff on your feet, don't require breaking in so much. I think this is a pretty familiar stud pattern for the Hirachi. Got these triangles, this sort of like bio-organic looking um, interior there with some little spikes and larger spikes on the outside. They have done something a little similar to the Freeze where they've got these tiny studs up at the top, but they are still going straight. They don't flare out like the Freeze. Um, and they did lose that high sock piece. They still have a little bit of a sock tongue, um, but the previous model went up way higher, um, or this was cut lower, one of the two, but it definitely showed more of this sock. Um, this has a little bit less of that, but still that nice sock sleeve to keep it nice and tight in your ankle, and it looks like good support. The laces go up nice and high on these, uh, these flaps up around your ankle, so they should have pretty good ankle support. And again, there's a low option if that's your thing. So I'm gonna go on the turf, toss these on, uh, give them a little run around, and let you guys know how they feel. All right, we got them on. They definitely run a little narrow, so from the edge of a half size, I would go a half size up if you have slightly wider feet. But some people in the comments said they do like how narrow they are. Very snug in the heel, definitely no slipping. Uh, I like the way they feel generally. They feel pretty fast. A little, a little narrow for me, but tight. Um, what do you think of the look that? They look all right? Yeah, I mean... No socks? No, no, no ankle socks? Is that the look? No ankle socks with a mid cleat. Black. All right, I'll have to test them out of the game, but I really like them. The traction feels really good. They're very grippy, and they're definitely the most secure of most cleats I've worn. My heel, everything feels very tight. Uh, not rolling over, foot's not moving at all. So overall, I love them. If you like the old Hirachis, you're really gonna like them. Uh, if you're in New Balance something else, it might be worth checking out. Thanks for watching, and get them at lax.com.